What's up everyone, it's Dave Stone with another exciting episode of Develop Awesome Skills where I'm committed to providing inspirational and practical ways to transform your life and the world around you by planting fruit and medicinal trees. And today, I'm gonna to talk about a super exciting tree that I just got planted in Stonehaven. You saw me plant it. And it is this monkey pod tree. And now it's been in the ground for, I'm gonna let you know how long. I don't know when I planted it, but it hasn't been that long. Maybe a week, week and a half, two weeks. I'll put right here how long it's been in the ground. But uh, you saw when I planted it, it was looking kind of shabby. And I'm gonna show you a little close up right now because it's doing so well and I'm very, very excited about this tree. No shade, full sun. The key about this monkey pod tree I'm finding is consistent water. And uh, it loves the sun. It's actually taken the sun really, really nicely. Although it's been quite cloudy out, it's in the monsoon area. So it's getting water from the rain. It's getting a lot of water right now from this bubbler and just uh, soaks this whole area. And it's really responding well. You can see some of the old leaves when I planted it, still kind of curling. But this tree, the leaves close up at night. So um, these leaves will open during the day where they're, it's already kind of a little bit later in the afternoon, so the leaves are closed up. But you can see this beautiful new growth coming in here. This is all, after I trimmed that tree up, it just has this excellent structure. And this is a hard wood. I'm gonna show you a picture right now of a monkey pod wood slab. Gorgeous wood, and it's a climbing tree. So if you guys wanna plant a climbing tree, uh, this it would be an excellent climbing tree. It's gonna get huge. It's gonna get massive, but I kinda of want something massive. So I love this new growth in here, and it just feels so velvety. It's like velvety soft. And then when they open up, it's just like displaying, displaying their leaves to the world to gather more sun. But there's so much sun out here that I'm finding that they, they close up. They close up kind of like in the afternoon because they've gotten their fair share of sun. So you just need to give them a lot of water, heavy mulch. I, I fed it really well, planted it right. And you can kind of see the old growth here. Um, and then the new growth. And then coming in right above it. And the new growth just so beautiful. So this tree is from Hawaii. I hear that the pods taste like raisin bran when you eat the pods. It is a pod producing tree. That means it's a legume tree. So that means it most likely produces nitrogen in the soil as well. So this is a bean tree, kind of. Not really a bean tree, but a pod tree. And uh, I'm excited to see these pods and see when they start fruiting. And as this tree grows, I think it's actually gonna grow pretty fast. So I'm gonna do this video right now so I can show you the progress next year uh, during this time. And one year from now, next summer, I'm excited to show you how big this thing gets. Let's look at the trunk here, see how the trunk looks. So here's some nice little branches coming up here off the bottom, I'm letting them come in. I painted this trunk and I love the bark. I mean, it's kind of like a nice, cool looking, thick, chunky bark. And right now you can see it's maybe an inch in diameter. So we're gonna see what this looks like. And I can actually see in here, there's actually a little sprout coming in right there. And another one right there. So this thing is gonna start branching out even more. Right here is a little sprout. So I'm excited about this tree. And it's full glory right now. Monkey pod. Not quite as tall as me but it's gonna be a great addition to the top of my food forest. So one of the reasons I'm so excited about this monkey pod tree, not just because they're epic trees, but because epicness means kind of tall. And so that's what I'm really excited about this tree is it's gonna give me that top canopy, that really high up canopy, 40, 50, 60 feet up above my yard, a big canopy up top. And that's what I want is that high canopy so that I can plant bigger trees that aren't that big underneath that canopy and then trees under that and then bushes under that and then vines all up it. Just go crazy, it's permaculture style. But this is helping me establish that canopy which is the first step of especially desert gardening for tropicals is you really wanna focus on canopy development. Once that canopy is developed, you're good to go. So um, I, I don't think about sun here, like everybody says. I mean, I'm sure there are plants that like full, full sun. Um, figs can take it after a while. Moringas for sure can take it. Monkey pods can take it. Um, but there's so many awesome tropicals that can't take Arizona full sun. They can take the heat. They just can't take the sun. 
So we just need to pull that sun off of them uh, with a high canopy. So it takes a few years to develop that, maybe eight to 10 years, but you know what? When's the best time to plant a tree? 10 years ago. <laughs> All right, well, thank you so much for watching this short video on the monkey pod tree. If you guys have any comments or questions, put them down below in the comment section. And thank you so much to everybody who's already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button below and uh, hit the little bell icon so you know when I post next. I just wanna also say thank you so much to all my Patreons. It really means the world to me that you guys support me. And you're gonna get a cool pair of shades because you're my Patreons. And if you do wanna become a Patreon and get your own pair of shades, go to patreon.com forward slash develop awesome skills and become at least a $3 a month Patreon. And if you're one of my $3 a month Patreons, you will get your own pair of shades and I'll pay for shipping. Plus, you'll be in the credits of these videos with all my other Patreons. So, Cool stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, develop awesome skills. Love you all.